All right, this problem we want to find the average value of a function on an interval. This is a um, common problem that you could be asked. Um, it boils down to a formula, but if you want some insight into what is going on here, um, let's use this example. So we want to find the average value of this 3x squared plus 2x plus 1, that function, which is part of a parabola on the interval from 1 to 3. Okay, so one way to think about the average value is to think of this picture as the side view of a glass of water. I kind of extended this up a little bit. Imagine this was a glass of water that somebody just bumped. So the water's sloshing over to one side here, right, in this cup, but let's pretend it doesn't go over the edge. What is the average value well, when the water comes to rest, you could picture the water coming to rest at a certain height here. Whatever that height is would be your average value. So the average value is a y value. It would be the average height. Um, another way to think about it I've seen before is if you can imagine a bunch of people, a, a bunch of people lined up from shortest to tallest, right? You've got all these lines representing people and there's an infinite number of people between one and three, it would be like, what's the average height of all of those people lined up here, right? So it's gonna be a, a height right in there. So, but let's go back to the water idea. When the water comes to rest, it's going to resemble a rectangle if you look at a side view. Again, the average height would, uh, be this, and we're going to call this f of c, c representing there would be some x value between your a and b value where the height, in other words, f of c would be your average height. That would be the height when the water comes to rest. So we're going to denote that as f of c is your average height. Okay. Now it makes sense that in terms of area, the area of the side of the glass when the water is at rest is the same as the area under the parabola when the water was bumped. And that will end up giving us our formula. Those areas are the same. What is the area of the rectangle? Let me go back to this. Well, it's just width times height. The width in general is B minus A, and the height is F of C, so the area of the rectangle is f of c times b minus a. The area under our curve from a to b, well, that would be given by the integral from a to b of f of x dx. So if I solve for f of c, which is my average height, I just have to divide by b minus a, and this is the uh, formula you may have seen in the book. The average value of a function is one over b minus a times the integral of your function from a to b. Working it out with our problem, we get the integral, we have to go one over three minus one, which is one half, times the integral from one to three of three x squared plus two x plus one. And now I'm using, okay, in the previous video, we talked about the fundamental theorem of calculus, part two. How do I evaluate this integral? I find my antiderivative of this function, which is very simple, x cubed plus x squared plus x, evaluated from three to one. So I put in the three first, subtract what I get when I plug in the one. 39 minus three times one half gives me an answer of 18 is my average height.